Thank you, Reed. 526 now. U.S. veteran unemployment has reached an all-time low, and the FDA aims to resume food inspections today. Jane King is at the NASDAQ with those stories and more. Good morning. The Food and Drug Administration will resume inspections of food facilities today using unpaid staff. Now, Commissioner Scott Gottlieb says inspectors will start with high-risk foods. That includes foods like cheese, other dairy products, and some fresh produce. Lower-risk foods include baked goods. Food inspections have been on hold during the government shutdown. Well, kids' clothing store Gymboree expected to file for bankruptcy and is closing 900 stores. Reports say the brand is expected to liquidate entirely. It also owns a stores Janie and Jack and Jack and Crazy 8, which may be sold or closed as well. Well, stocks posted back-to-back -back losses for the first time this year. Earnings are kicking off this week, and there were worries about a slowdown in China. All three major indexes down on the day. Unemployment among America's military veterans reached an all-time low in 2018. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Unemployment among post-9-11 vets fell below 4% to 3.8% for the first time, as reported by the Military Times. Now, additionally, homelessness among veterans decreased by 5.4 percent last year. And millennials aren't eating raisins. SunMade has a plan to try to get them back. The raisin company will run its first ad in 10 years and will refresh the brand. The new head of the company wants to target millennials as well as their children. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your morning business report.